today. Crypto prices start August in the red. The SEC charges 11 people an alleged $300 million crypto Ponzi scheme. And we check on the state of the NFT market as traditional brands bet big on the technology. Welcome to CNBC's Crypto World, I'm Pippa Stevens. Digital currencies are starting the week and the month in the red. By noon Eastern, Bitcoin was worth $23,000, Ether worth $1,600, while Solana traded right around $42. Now, today's losses come even as tech stocks, which crypto prices tend to follow closely, traded higher in the morning. New economic data showed manufacturing costs are falling, which is a sign that inflation could be cooling off. There's also growing optimism around Ethereum's upcoming merge, which is slated for September. Okay, on to the top stories. First up, the SEC just charged 11 people in a $300 million crypto pyramid scheme. The charges center around Forsage, a website that promised to let retail investors invest through smart contracts on Ethereum, Tron, and Binance networks. Now, the SEC claims that the company ran a pyramid scheme for two years. Essentially, investors were paid to recruit others to the site, with Forsage using new investors' money to pay earlier investors. The charges include the company's four founders, who are believed to be in Russia, the nation of Georgia, and Indonesia. The agency also charged three promoters in the U.S. Next, the creator of Ethereum thinks Meta's attempt at a metaverse will, quote, misfire. In a Twitter thread, Vitalik Buterin said we don't really know the definition of the metaverse just yet, and anything Facebook's parent company Meta creates won't hit its mark. Vitalik is an anti-metaverse, though. He says that the technology will happen, but doesn't think any of the existing corporate attempts will be successful. Last up, Tiffany & Co. is launching its own NFTs called NFTIFFs. The collection of 250 tokens are based off CryptoPunk NFTs and according to Tiffany, will be exclusive to holders of those tokens. The jeweler will auction digital and physical pendants of the tokens starting Friday and they'll go for about $50,000 a piece. And that's not far off from the average price of CryptoPunk NFTs, which according to NFT stats, go for about $74,000. And speaking of NFTs, our main story of the day looks at how the market's doing. New data from tradingplatforms.com found that total trading volume for tokens in the second quarter reached $65 billion. The market as a whole could grow to be worth $147 billion by 2026. Crypto World's Mackenzie Segalos spoke to Lin Dai, CEO of music NFT platform OneOf, about the state of NFTs and the business's new partnerships with brands like American Express. Okay, so let's start with a check on the NFT market. Data from tradingplatforms.com found that trading surpassed $65 billion in the last quarter. What are you seeing in the market and how is consumer interest holding up? Yeah, you know, I think uh, our platform is a little bit different. We're targeting at uh, the next 100 million non-crypto native users. Uh, so we actually enable fiat payment with uh, credit cards for your uh, to purchase your NFT. So you don't have to be a crypto expert. We actually seen uh, significant um, interest and uh, our volume been holding up great. Uh, we just did a, a fantastic collection with uh, the notorious B.I.G. estate uh, that sold out in nine minutes. Uh, so we, we still see a tremendous amount of demand out there. And so beyond your ecosystem, though, speaking more broadly to the NFT market, what are you what trends are you seeing with respect to consumer interest? Yeah, in the broader market, you know, I'm certainly a NFT holder for many popular collection. We have seen kind of trading volume and price uh, decline sometimes by uh, as much as 80 to 90 uh, percent. We're, we're seeing basically a uh, you know, a, a correction uh, for kind of a little bit of the frothy value. And really, you're talking about the top uh, few single digit number of collection that is holding up interest. And, uh, and then the new collections that are coming to the market, for the most part, are uh, offered to buyers, you know, as a quote unquote, a free mint. Uh, so to just, you know, almost given away for free uh, in hoping that uh, collectors will find interest uh, over the, uh, the long haul. Now, has there been a shift in the type of tokens that investors are willing to pay for? Are NFTs, for example, facing stronger scrutiny before getting a bid? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, to build a strong community ahead of time is super important, but also uh, consumers really want that uh, utility. 
uh, collectors want that utility that comes with uh, my piece of NFT art. It doesn't, it can't just be a JPEG anymore. Uh, whether the, um, you know, the NFT comes with, um, you know, certain rights to, um, you know, music or content or uh, even just a unlock real world uh, utility like uh, the NFT we just released with uh, American Express in, uh, in Turkey, Belgium. What does the landscape look like for music NFTs or these experience based NFTs? Is demand growing despite the volatility in terms of prices? We think certainly the frothy prices of, you know, you hear these uh, two million or six million dollar music NFTs, uh, those don't happen anymore. But what's encouraging is basically, you know, we think real fans are discovering NFTs for the first time. Uh, you know, I think I think for the first time, you know, we priced our uh, Notorious B.I.G. collection for only uh, $100 per NFT. So that can be affordable for the real fans. They don't have to be hundreds of thousands of dollars. Uh, so, so we see basically not just speculator trying to get in, but really uh, NFTs are finding their way into the hands of uh, the everyday uh, music consumer fans, uh, which we think in the long run is a much more sustainable model. There's also this subset of NFTs known as POAPs. So proof of attendance protocol, as the name implies, it's essentially an attendance sheet for virtually anything. Are you seeing that be gain in popularity? And if so, what are some of the use cases that you find most salient? Yeah, absolutely. You know, POAPs are just a way to prove you were there. Um, you know, you attended this event or you are part of this community from the beginning. So, uh, you know, POAPs is a really great use case for mass consumer adoption NFTs. POAPs are usually given away for free. POAPs are collected. Uh, there's very few uh, speculators involved. So POAPs typically don't resell for hundreds of thousands of dollars because the collectors really want to keep it as a memento. But imagine, um, you know, we all had that story that we saw so-and-so, uh, whichever band or artist at a basement bar uh, before they were famous. Well, now you can prove that you did that, right? That if that artist three years later wins a Grammy, your PO app will be worth a lot, um, you know, for being there to attending their first uh, concert or, or such. So one of just announced that its latest funding round brought in eight and a half million dollars with American Express as a backer. So what does this partnership mean for one of and for Amex and its customers? Uh, so American Express is kind of really famous for delivering just the most outstanding VIP experience for its car holders. Uh, and this is, you know, kind of NFT is kind of the new frontier of how do we um, you know, use leverage this new technology to really even enhance uh, what American Express can bring to its car members. Um, and then beyond that, if you can think about, well, what, what is uh, NFT as a business model for potentially engaging with merchants? Uh, the possibilities are really endless. And so for someone who hasn't read the news, what, what changes for the customer today as of this partnership? Yeah, you know, uh, MX made an investment in one of, um, and uh, as well, we launched our first collaboration with American Express Experiences in Bordrum, Turkey, where uh, MX took over a beach club, um, and uh, it's a secret beach club, and, you know, car members access only, and if you go there, you can collect a POAP uh, for, you know, either a dining experience or a beach club experience. Uh, also, you can uh, you're able to actually purchase a money can buy experience. Um, you know, really a three star Michelin chef uh, will be able to offer a dinner for four if you purchase this NFT. Uh, it's really an interesting uh, experiment. So what's your take on mainstream businesses like Amex getting into NFTs? How real is the interest from brands and how quickly are they getting into the space? Yeah, you know, one of is also the NFT partner for major brands like uh, Anheuser Busch and also Pepsi. We see at the at the tier one level, uh, there's a lot of interest. Just the uh, amount of brainstorming and how to integrate this with uh, any of their sub brands is, um, you know, the the discussion is constant, right? I think at the major brand level, there is a belief um, that NFTs are and Web three technology are the future and it's, it's here to stay. Okay, that's all for Crypto World today, but we are back again tomorrow and we'll see you then.